Is your business right now finding it like you're tight with listings? There's not many, for example, market appraisals happening or your pipeline seems to be diminishing right now in the marketplace. If it is and you're in that marketplace where listings are really tight, this is what I suggest you do. You need to get what I call an automatic shot, okay? I had this when I was selling agent, an automatic shot. What does that mean? So an automatic shot, it's not a shot of coffee, by the way. So don't go to your coffee machine and get an automatic shot. But what you can do for your business is develop maybe perhaps three people that when listings are tight, you can reach out to them and ask them if they know anyone that could be perhaps looking at selling or anyone you want to help. What does it look like? For me, I had three people. I had uh, Mary Booth Patterson was one lady that I did a lot of work for, but she referred me a lot of business over the years of selling real estate. The second person I had was a mortgage broker, Mark Mellick from Auspac, and he's still operating out there in Maroubra today. And he was my second automatic shot. And my third person was John down at White City Tennis Club. So let me tell you and what that looks like and maybe feels like an automatic shot. So Mary Booth Patterson, I sold for her became a raving fan, she loved me. I'm sure you have clients in your database that you've got raving fans. She would recommend me to anyone. But here's the thing, when I felt like listings were tight, I would pick up the phone and I would have a dialogue a bit like, you know, hey Mary, it's Claudio calling. Um, look, uh, working with a lot of buyers at the moment, but what I'm finding quite challenging right now is trying to find some of these buyers a home. Now, just wondering if when you're out there talking to some of your friends or family or people that you know, if you could just think of me, because I'd love to help some of these buyers. Now, because she was like an advocate of mine, she used to play bridge on a Wednesday down in Double Bay, so she knew all the ladies at the bridge club. And I could pretty much guarantee, after I had that conversation with her, a two, three, or even four days later, I would get a phone call from either her or someone else saying to me, um, hello Claudia, look, uh, I know Mary Booth and Patterson and she mentioned to me that, um, you know, that you are maybe got some buyers looking to buy something. We're about to looking to buy and I would basically have a list of my hot buyers because you should have a hot buyer list in this market. And I would actually say, well, I've got someone who's looking for a two bedroom unit, someone who's looking for a three bedroom apartment. And this lady would say, well, I've got a two bedroom apartment in Darling Point. It's an investment property, but we are considering it putting it on the market. When would be a good time for maybe us to chat? So Mary would put the feelers out there about that I needed help and she would extend to her fears of influence, people that she knew, trying to help me. That's number one. Number two was the mortgage broker, Mark. Now Mark, great guy and I could reach out to him and say, hey Mark, if you know of anyone that, you know, maybe perhaps uh, looking at perhaps selling as I'm working with all these buyers at the moment, please think of me. Really simple and Mark was a good friend of mine um, and also a good business associate. But he, here's what always used to happen. Mark would ring me two or three days later as well and say, look, I'm working with an investor and we're trying to get a loan across for him, but he needs to sell one of his pr uh, properties because he's highly geared. So meaning that he's got, you know, he's gonna have too much debt and he needs to get rid of something. And Mark would put me in front as the preferred agent to sell that property. So that was my second automatic shot. And I would ring Mark from time to time. My last automatic shot, well, if you know me, you may know that I used to be a professional tennis player as soon as I left school. Getting into real estate, I still love my tennis and I used to play at White City Tennis Club. Wednesday's afternoon were the best. John had a group of friends that were all from all parts. Some were retirees, some were still working, doctors, dentists, you name them. They were there on Wednesday afternoon. So Wednesday afternoons, I used to just play tennis from about one till six o'clock. But I used to go then, every time I'd go there, I'd always get the question as I'm like maybe buying a beer to, to one of the guys who was playing, I was playing tennis with and I'd say, he'd say to me, so Claudio, how's the market? And I'd say, the market, well, it's good, it's bad, whatever it was doing at the moment. I might get you to come and have a look at uh, my property uh, because we're thinking of selling that. It's uh, too big, the kids have grown, grown up and they're all moved out and we may need to look at downsizing. Bingo. And that was my third automatic shot, White City Tennis Club. So if you're like looking for listings right now and you're doing the grind and you're doing the calls and you need to do that. But here's the other thing I think you do. Think about a strategy that can actually help you try and get listings or leads in a different way. And that could be using the automatic shot. Try it, let me know how you go with it. Talk to you next time.